Chapter 8, Mishnah 8. The Mishnah discusses some items that may not be bought with Shemitah money, and what happens if someone does buy them. We now turn to the words of the Mishnah. We may not buy servants, lands, or non-kosher animals with Shemitah money, since Shemitah money must be used to buy food, and these items cannot be eaten. And if someone did buy one of these items with Shemitah money, as a penalty, he must eat with Shemitah sanctity food that is of equal value to the money he spent illegally. For example, if he spent 10 dinars of Shemitah money on a servant, he must take 10 dinars of non-Shemitah money and use it to buy food that he will then treat with Shemitah sanctity. A person may use Shemitah money to buy an animal that he will then bring as a voluntary offering. The Mishnah discusses whether a person may use Shemitah money to buy certain offerings that he is obligated to bring. We may not bring pairs of birds as offering for Zavim, or pairs of birds as offerings for Zavos, or pairs of birds as offering for women who have just given birth, using Shemitah money. Since these people must bring their offerings to fulfill an obligation, they must use ordinary non-Shemitah money to buy the birds. And if someone did bring one of these offerings with Shemitah money, as a penalty he must eat with Shemitah sanctity food that is of equal value to the money he spent illegally. The misuse of Shemitah oil carries a similar penalty. We may not rub utensils with Shemitah oil. And if someone did rub utensils with Shemitah oil, as a penalty, he must eat with Shemitah sanctity food that is of equal value to the oil that he misused.